guys, welcome back to Get On Your Feet Music. So today we're going to deal with a D chord. D chord is also one of the most basic chords that you can you can do on the guitar. Um, it also just requires one, two, three fingers. The basic D. sound the way Pierce playing his G silly is because you didn't tune your guitar let me show you well how I tune my guitar using this easy technique and a little app see you on the other side okay guys so you bought the guitar and you took it home and you got home from the store and it sounded something like like that um, I'm going to show you guys just with the top three strings how to tune them. I'm using a basic tuner that I downloaded for free from the from the App Store um, and from the Android Store. This is called an uh, app called G Strings. I'll put the uh, details for you down below. So what we have here is when you launch this app, it launches like this, and over here you'll have your E string and your D string your A and your B your E A D G B E string so you'll select the E string and you'll say tune so the E string which is the sixth string this one needs to be at run about 82 Hertz so just by turning the machine heads we're going to get to 82 Hertz alright so let's try that 74 now the needle is coming closer to our 82 Hertz Those marks will mean that you are just a few cents off. But this is tuned. Okay. Now we stop the E. We go elephants and the A string. Now the A string is the fifth string and that's run about at the 110 hertz. Not even close. some tuners shows you, you, you are tuning on the E but the octave of the E is totally not where it's supposed to be so that's why I like to use the Hertz and that's more accurate to me I don't care if it, if, if it says an E or A no, the Hertz, that's what you want to look at when you measure to 
see where the your guitar is in tune. Thank you guys. See you now on the other side of the other side. I hope you learned something, Mo. See ya, buddy. I first want to explain to you on the board how we're going to go about learning the D chord. So as you've seen in all the other movies, we have the schematic. And I tried to use my numbering system to show you guys. Not really my numbering system, the numbering system. So we've got again our fingers, one, two, and three. And we place our first finger on the G for grow on the second fret right there. Our second finger on the E for ears on the sixth string, second fret. And our third finger on the B for big ears on the third fret. And just by giving it with your thumb, remember I showed you the thumb, and now you can see me do the thumb string by string. We'll start just with the fingered strings one, two, and three. One, two, and three. But in the order of G, B, and E. Make sure that there's no fret buzz. And then try that for, for a day or so. Um, and see if you can incorporate that with a G. Furthermore, now we are playing the D. But let's look at the root. I would like to introduce the root now so that as you buy books and you further your studies in the guitar and in your studio, then when you look at the root, you don't feel intimidated by people talking about the root in your community. Let's just see what the root is all about. Now, as you can see, you have the D open string. That's a D, right? Yes. And when we place our fingers, it actually harmonizes with the open D. So when you strum the D, you can actually use that open D string as well. When you play the D, when you play the D chord, see the X? Remember I spoke about the X? The X means do not play the E string, the 6th string. So when you play the D chord, you play the 5th, 4th, 3rd, 2nd and 1st string. And that will sound like this. Nice full, even with the A being played open, the root of D also being played. Now let's elaborate more on the root. The root would be the lowest, the lowest D or whatever the chord might be. If we go to the G chord, Yes, that is a G. That is the G. But the lowest is that one. So the root won't be at the highest, it will be at the lowest. So talking about high and low, let's see let's look at a a tree. You've got your leaves on top, high, and you've got your roots at the bottom, low, but they are very, very, <laughs> but they are very, very low roots. 
So the, f the furthest down you can go, that would be the root. So if we're playing G, yes, this one would be the root. If we go D, the open string, that would be the root. Make sense? Easy? Okay, what else? So, what I'll also, also try to tell you guys is when we play the D chord, what are we actually playing? Well, if you look at the D, all the, all the strings that's been pressed, you, when you play the D chord from, from the fifth string down to the first string, you're playing the A open, D open, then you play an A again, then you play a D, and then you play the F sharp, which is finger two. That's your D chord for today.